Hey guys, so welcome to Monday Move where we are going to enhance our asana. So today uh, we will be working with Warrior 2 or Vira Bhadrasana 2 if you want to say it in Sanskrit. So there are um, a few misalignments that I want to go over, um, but let me get to my map so I can start showing you some of those misalignments. So the first, um, the first thing I see a lot are some issues with the front knee. So when we come into warrior two, we bend into our front knee. What happens sometimes is that our stance is too short, but we still want to, we're still trying to get our thigh parallel. So we, our knee passes over our ankle. So sometimes our stance is too short. So make sure your stance is wide enough so that the knee comes directly over your ankle. The next um, issue that happens is if I come forward, the knee dumps in. So we, we want to work on taking our hip points open, right? But when we open up the hips, the knee tends to come with. So you wanna focus on being able to see your big toe through the sight line from your inner knee. So no matter where, how open your hips are, you still need to be seeing your big toe. And this back hip point will open over time as the body starts to open up over time. Okay, so the last, um, I shouldn't say the last thing, but the back hip point. So go, if I face this way, so let's say I realize that my front knee is dumping in, so I align it back over my ankle, but then this back hip point juts forward. You also want to make sure to look back at your back ankle and align your thigh bone in line with the ankle. And then double check your big toe. And then once those are all aligned, you need to adjust your pelvis so you're not dumping forward like this. So then it's the glutes to the heels to bring your torso upright, to stack your torso, and the arms come out to T. All right, so those are the misalignments. So check your stance. Make sure your stance is wide enough so the knee comfortably is right over the ankle. Check the sight line from um, the inside of your knee to your big toe. Check your back leg so it's in line with your ankle bone. And then also remember to scoop up the belly to bring your, to stack your torso. Um, and then the arms can come out to the side. So let's walk through this one more time. I'll do it on the second side. So I'm gonna spread my feet apart nice and wide. So my left toes are gonna to turn out to the short edge of my mat. Okay, I'm gonna bend into my left knee and I'm going to make sure that my stance is wide enough so my knee is over my ankle. I'm gonna check that I can see my big toe. Once I have that in line, I can work on looking behind at my back ankle to check my back thigh. My back thigh is a little forward, so I'm going to adjust that back hip in line with my ankle, recheck my big front toe to make sure my knee didn't come with that adjustment. And now I felt like I tilted forward a little bit, so I gotta use my glute muscles to pull up the front of my pelvis to restack my torso. I like to bring my arms out to, to, to T by reaching up overhead with an inhale to get nice length through my side body. And then I relax my arms into T and I look out over my front fingertips and I breathe here to feel what the pose brings out in me. This is a warrior pose. So it's not necessarily about going into battle against someone else, going to battle against another group of people. In the, if you're looking at the yoga philosophy, the mythology of the story, it's more about going to battle with your inner ego, about, um, about the mind, always um, going from thought to thought. So it's a battle within yourself to stay present, to know your edge, and how best to flirt with that edge, going in and out of your comfort zone to make that progress that you're looking for. So, um, recap, stance nice and wide. Check your big toe, check your back thigh. Make sure you're using your glute muscles to keep your torso stacked. 
So that's what I have for Vera Bradrasana 2 or Warrior 2. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me through Facebook. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, or you can go to my website, katiesleepwellness.com. You can get a hold of me at any one of those platforms. So I hope you enjoy working with Warrior 2. Practice it at home. Let me know how it goes. And I will see you next week as we continue into this progression of standing poses. So have a beautiful day, a wonderful week. Namaste.